Cameron Brown says his sweet little daughter Lauren slipped from this cliff and accidentally fell to her death. But Los Angeles County Sheriff's Detective Jeff Leslie just can't let it go. There are certain things that he says it just couldn't have happened that way. And his partner, Detective Danny Smith, was equally suspicious. Cameron was just, he's just a very odd guy. But um, odd doesn't make you a killer. It does not make you a killer. But we just really didn't have a warm and fuzzy feeling about the guy either. Neither did the DA, who believed Cameron Brown murdered his innocent four-year-old daughter in the cruelest way imaginable. You think he just pushed her? Do you think he dropped her? Based on the nature of her injuries and based on the force with which she would have had to have been thrown. Had it even sunk in what had happened? That she died at the hands of her own father was incomprehensible. No one, especially Lauren's mom, Sarah, wanted to believe a dad would or could throw his own child to her death. But the evidence seemed to be overwhelming. What was the forensic evidence? Uh, they examined the edge of the cliff, they examined the dirt, the brush, the weeds, uh, and there was just no scuff marks, there was no evidence of slipping or sliding or any disturbance along the edge. The county coroner agreed, releasing a disturbing 32-page report ruling Lauren's death a homicide. What were the injuries on her body that indicated to you that this was not an accident? If Lauren had accidentally fallen and slipped, she would show significant sliding injuries, significant abrasion, because the cliff wasn't just a straight drop into the ocean. She showed none of those injuries, just one sudden impact which was consistent with her being thrown clear of the edge of the cliff and landing on a single projection about 100 feet down uh, before uh, bouncing off the cliff and then going into the water. But detectives Jeff Leslie and Danny Smith want to prove their theory beyond a reasonable doubt. So they bring in a team of experts in biomechanics to reenact the incident. They fill a box with 40 pounds of weights, about what four-year-old Lauren weighed at the time of her death, and go back to Inspiration Point. They hurl the box about 10 feet, the distance they estimate Cameron Brown could toss his 40-pound daughter. Remember, he was an airport baggage handler who tossed 50-pound suitcases for a living. The results are chilling. How do you suggest he threw her? The defendant actually placed one hand near the top of Lauren's back and literally threw her off of the cliff so that she cleared the edge of the cliff, rotated from a head up to head down position and struck the rock uh, face first with her back away from the cliff and her face into the cliff. The big question still needing an answer, motive. Why would a dad kill his own flesh and blood? The defendant and Lauren's mother, uh, Sarah Kimar, didn't get along at all. Uh, their uh, child custody battle was, uh, was very contentious. And cops say that's one of the saddest parts of this story. Brown killed his own daughter just so he wouldn't have to pay a few hundred bucks a week in child support. Can you imagine that, that would be the reason? No. As detectives are putting the final pieces of the puzzle together, they keep a close eye on Cameron Brown. I think Jeff and I both were like, this is kind of that mentality of a guy, like a Unabomber. Like Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber, Brown had lived off the grid in a remote cabin in Colorado. Detectives knew if Brown ran, they may never find him. So they put a surveillance team on him, and lo and behold, their detective intuition was right. It was either the day before Thanksgiving or Thanksgiving Day, and our surveillance team called me and said, I think this guy's going to get, he's going to get on. and He's going to take off? Take off. And I said, arrest him. That was that. He went to jail. Based on the box test and the autopsy on little Lauren, Brown is charged with first-degree murder and lying in wait. Everybody thought the case would be a slam dunk. There's not anyone, in my opinion, who is reasonable that would take his story and say, yeah, I could see that happening. 
but jurors are skeptical. Jurors just don't want to believe that, uh, that a man would murder his daughter, uh, period, and certainly uh, not by throwing her off of a cliff into the ocean. Up next, the verdict is in. Is Cameron Brown about to get away with murder? What happened in the first trial? Uh, but I think the bigger problem uh, with the case was just the unwillingness of some jurors to believe uh, that a man would do this to his daughter uh, and in such a horrible way. 